Shiver Fry Big Man, the new Splatfest isn't asking you to pick your favorite. It's asking which of these three would make for the best leader. And I'm going with Big Man. <laughs> Normally, they don't do Splatfests the first month of the season. With this fest being from Friday, September 8th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to Sunday, September 10th at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, this is a big break away from Nintendo's normal Splatoon 3 Splatfest release pattern. If you came over here, we've got some convincing to do. Use this video to convert your friends to the future winning team, hopefully. There's a lot of other Splatfests they could have done that would have put me not on Team Big Man. Who would make the best supervillain? Shiver. Free. Given they're a group of bandits, honestly, that'd be a really fun Splatfest idea. Who's the most powerful? Fry. Have you seen her literal swarm of eels? Hello? She's also the only one who actually leaves the hero mode fight the proper way instead of exploding herself away till next time. She's smart when she has a plan and powerful to boot. But who is the best leader? Big Man. Big Man is Deep Cut's music man. He makes Deep Cut's music a hit. He's humble about it. You know what else Big Man has accomplished? He's done music with the Squid Sisters. Can't say Shiver or Fry have done that yet outside of the story mode. Could always change. But for now, that's Big Man's personal victory. What is Big Man's greatest strength though? Persuasion. There's a number of times where Big Man will make suggestions or quips in an attempt to redirect the conversation. Sometimes back to discussing the original Splatfest at hand, and other times to convert Shiver or Fry to agree with him. Heck, during the Chocolate Splatfest, Big Man isn't just immune to Shiver's suggestion, but bounces off of it to convert Fry to his side for a moment. He's naturally agreeable. During the original Rock Paper Scissors Fest, look at how Shiver tries to convince Fry and didn't succeed. But then Big Man, he does the same thing, and he does! <laughs> we love to see it. Look how far he's come with standing his own ground since the earlier Splatfests. After losing the original Splatfest, he barely gets a word in. But when the Mint Chip Fest rolled around, he's threatening the other team before it even starts. That's confidence, character growth, strength. Would you really want to mess with a bandit who's taller than almost every other character in the game? He runs an entire clan. He can hold up a television with just his fins. That's a creature I would not want to find in a dark alley. <laughs> I could find him in a dark alley right now. <laughs> but how do we win? Simple. Yoink those sweet, sweet, tri colored turf war points away. Like a bandit. Poor Mint Chip Man. We almost stole it on that one. The total amount of points available is 57 points. So for a clear and concise victory, we would want at least 29 points. That's one category of clout at 12 points a pop, and Tricolor Turf War, which clocks in at a whole 18 points. Did you know that as long as no other team gets more than two categories, simply getting one category and tricolor is enough to win? You might be saying that's never happened before, but no, no, it has. That's how Nessie got the win near the start of the year by only getting open and tricolor. You know what doesn't guarantee a victory anymore? Like it did for Team Sweet? Only getting the sneak peek, popularity, and open clout. Another team could take pro and tricolor now and win it all. Essentially, what I'm saying is we really, really, really want those tricolor points. <laughs> Ever since the point system was rebalanced below this red line here to make tricolor turf war worth 18 points, every team that has won also had the tricolor category. The only time they didn't was when it wasn't worth as much. So yeah, team big man all the way. <laughs> we're not just getting fish quick, we're getting wins quick on this amazing team. <laughs> If your friends don't groan at that joke, then you know exactly who to recruit next. Also, hey, I made a song about Big Man before the game even came out, so maybe I'm a little biased here. <laughs> what is this Splatfest also? It's another opportunity to open up the floor on what we could see this time next year as we approach the game's second anniversary. Will we get the obligatory Squid Sisters versus Off the Hook versus Deep Cut Splatfest? Or will we see something else? They don't need to do an idle face-off anymore because it's here right now. Let me know in the comments what you think we could see next year. 
thank you for listening, and feel free to subscribe for more shenanigans in the future. I'll be sure to stream plenty of this Splatfest 2 as usual, because there'll be a new golden banner by then. Whee!